Hello and welcome to another video. Uh, we're gonna answer a question that I keep getting asked, which is, uh, why do you have a separate work account for GitHub? Uh, so, you know, typically when I do my software development on stream and in other places in open source, I use my Acetilly account. Now for work, I have a separate Acetilly Sentry account. See that I'm pretty good about staying, uh, <laughs> working on weekdays, of course. Bereavement leave is very clear in these set of days, as well as I had a day off on Friday. Look, I'm very persistent about that. Uh, but why Why do I have a separate account? Uh, and this actually harkens back to my previous video about how I manage uh, remote work, or how I, how I, yeah, how I manage remote work. Where is that? View playlist. Uh, here. How I, how I make remote software engineering work. So if, if you haven't checked out this video yet, I would recommend watching this one first, uh, but it, it, it uh, kind of lines up with the ideas of that, in that I want to keep my personal life as separate as possible from my work life. And uh, GitHub accounts is, you know, I'm fairly active on GitHub, I spend a lot of time on this, uh, and rather not have to deal with work stuff outside of work. Um, I've actually done the opposite situation in the past. So when I worked at Lyft, I used just my normal open source account to also work on Lyft work stuff. And uh, <laughs> it meant that I would get notifications for open source stuff while I was at work, but it also meant that I would get notifications for work stuff while I was you know, streaming or you know, just kind of working on my own personal projects. And it meant that I was kind of always on. I wasn't ever, you know, I, didn't, I didn't really have my, my personal space there. Uh, it also meant that I would accidentally show work stuff while streaming all the time, which wasn't intentional, and uh, I guess none of it was super secret or, or important, but uh, it meant that I had to do my due diligence to actually separate those things out. Uh, and I would often, you know, get the little notification bubble but not be able to click it because I didn't want to see work stuff. Now, GitHub has gotten better about that. There's the single sign-on situation where, like, if you're not single signed on, um, then it won't show it won't show notifications from or it'll it'll hide the contents of notifications and repositories from your uh, privileged uh, organizations. So GitHub has gotten better about this, but I'd still rather keep them separate. The other reason that I want to keep them separate is it makes attribution extremely clear. So when I'm working on stuff during work, uh, any contributions I make will be made using this account. And so uh, if you want to trace, like you know, for instance, I made a pull request to Confluent Kafka, uh, and oh, somewhere in here. Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, I made a I made a pull request to Confluent Kafka, and I did this at work on work time, and so I wanted to be very clear that um, that <laughs> you know this was a century contribution. Actually, that was kind of funny. Wait, what was that? <laughs> Yo, look at me! I sponsor myself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's pretty funny. I don't think that's gonna last. They're paying me in other ways, but anyway, uh, it makes it very clear that you know I worked on this during work time. Whereas some other stuff, you know, that I would do open source my free time, uh, that's gonna be on my own personal account and not something that I'm you know, contributing uh, as as work. Uh, but anyway, hopefully that clears up that that little question that I keep getting, uh, and I'll be around.